Stephanie Mullen here to quickly show you how to use matte transitions from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Adobe Premiere. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Mac and PCs. If you're working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you will be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump in Premiere. Now as you can see here, I already have a timeline going with a little with two clips in it. And you'll notice that my second clip is on top of my first clip, which is very important. And we want to add the transition here. Well, we're going to look at our matte transitions from the, tool, the toolbox that we have. And the first thing we need to do is import them. So you're going to go over here to your bin. And it's really simple. Now I'm going to double click on my matte transitions because I've already started a bin. And it's going to pull up here. And then I want to right click. I'm going to say import. And then you need to go find wherever you have stored your style, your effects that you have on here. And I'm going to go down to matte transitions. And there are actually two volumes of matte transitions in this pack. So I want to put that up. I want to hit the whole thing. And I say import. Okay. Now you're going to see a failure that happens here. What you're seeing here are the PDF files that come with each pack. Each pack has their own PDF preview sheet. The preview sheet is going to allow you to see a really quick snapshot of each element that's inside the folder. So you can open that, take a look at it, see the different shapes and different things that happen with the, within the effects themselves. So it's a little bit easy to and a quick way to see everything. So we're going to say OK. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now we have all of our matte transitions right here. Here are our two volumes. And as you can see here, I have matte transitions, paint transitions, and soft matte transitions. These All these transitions work the same way. And all we have to do is open them up. We're going to take a transition. We're going to drag it over to our timeline. We're going to make sure we line up our transition with our, our second clip right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a track matte key. And to do that, you're going to go to your effects panel. If you don't see your effects panel here, all you need to do is go to Window and show your effects. It'll be right there. And then you can either type in here track matte key, which is going to show up that way, or you can go to video effects, go down to keying, and then you'll find your track matte key that way as well. So we're going to actually now drag our track matte key to our second layer of video footage. We are not putting it on our mat, we're putting it on our actual video. That's very important. So now we have our track matte key on our second layer of video, and now we have to tell our second layer of video where our mat exists. So if you, as you see here, our mat is on V3, it's on video line 3. So we're going to come up here to our effects controls and we're going to tell our track mat key to go on video 3. Okay, and all we need to do is roll that back and play it. And there you go. Easy, simple transition that looks awesome. So if we want to change this, we can go ahead and do that. So I can do this, I can do option, replace, roll this back. Very simple. I can even delete it and use another one like this and play it. And it's very easy. Now the reason why I don't have to keep putting the track mat here is because right now the track mat is on this second layer already. So no matter what goes here on layer three, it's going to think it's a mat. So if we go to our other volume and I say, okay, let's use this one and I say option replace try it again. There you go. So easy, so simple. Just drag that track mat to, oops, let's stop that. Just drag that track mat to your uh, second video layer and you're done. You can play with these, mix and match, do them all however you want to do them. Pretty easy. So let's go take a look at the other ones. The other uh, transitions, paint and soft matte transitions are all the same. They act exactly the same, so we stick it on top. Remember, this is a mat, so we've already added our track mat. Press the space bar, and there's our paint transition. And if we want to do the soft mat transition, it's the same way. Let's just do option replace, scroll it back, and play it. And there's the soft mat transitions. And that's it. You import it, drag it to your timeline, change the uh, drag track mat key to your second layer of footage, go up to the effects controls, change your mat up here from your video none to whatever layer your uh, mat is on, and that's it. You're done. So simple, so easy, and you have an instant transition. If you're interested in any more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below, and if you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll be happy to help you. Again, thanks for watching. Bye!